What would you do if you were hiking, got lost, ran out of water, and then were nowhere near a water source, and then it started raining? Common sense says you'd most likely try to capture the rainwater. It's a rainy day here in LA, much needed. And rainwater can be used for washing, drinking, irrigation, and bathing. That's because if you catch it before it hits the ground, rainwater is free of pollutants that often will plague surface, water, and underground water supplies. Stored rainwater is vital in emergencies and in times of extreme drought, which will become more common in climate change, like particularly in the Southwest. And collecting rainwater minimizes erosion and flooding. Yet somehow something as simple as rainwater catchment has become this big internet debate. For years I had heard that it was illegal in most states to catch rainwater. And when I actually looked into it, I found Surprise, the opposite is true. A lot of laws have been updated since then, and even some states will provide incentives for you to catch rainwater. The main caveat I found was that most states want you to catch it only from your roof, like in Oregon. Some states, like Colorado, only in 2016 allowed people to use two rain barrel catchment systems, otherwise they're breaking the law. Nevada doesn't allow rain catchment without a water right, but um, they don't really police it. Texas and Ohio have several laws regulating rainwater catchment, and states like Texas, Virginia, and Rhode Island offer tax credits for purchasing the equipment. California passed a bill in 2012 that allowed for the use of rainwater catchment systems specifically to reduce the use of potable water on the landscapes, and San Diego will pay you back for every gallon that you catch. So what I found is that a lot of these bills started getting passed around like 2012-ish, and most of them require that you can't sell it. And why can't you sell it? Well, <laughs> the water industry is very big business. It's one of the fastest growing industries and they often will just tap the same municipal water that you already use for free from your faucet. Think about how much money you spend on bottled water. After I did my research, you know, I did find that there was some harassment from local law enforcement in certain states, but apparently in all 50 states, it's legal to catch rainwater, so have at it. Look for my more in-depth video on how to actually set up a rainwater catchment system even in an urban environment. It's super easy. Because we're... That's right. Gung-ho. Eco.